Hello and welcome to the 30k channel, a channel dedicated to games set in the Horus Heresy. I'm your host, David Brains, and I say this every time, what an absolute treat <laughs> we have for you today. We have David Taylor and his Death Guard, g'day. Oh, yeah. And we have the lovely Jimmy. G'day, Jimmy. Hello, David. How are you? I'm not too bad, mate. Second, <laughs> second time for um, uh, Salamanders as well. Yeah. We were hoping for you to be the first, but... Got a bit of delay Someone there. picked you to <laughs> the post there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Lee, Lee Langford got there first, but but that's all right. But we've got a spectacular 3K game, two Primarchs, two awesome uh, Rite of Wars that we're running, and just two absolutely spectacular armies. I mean, you know, the camera probably won't do it any justice, but these two are spot on. This is this is what we need. Um so I don't want to inflate your egos too much before no, we get started. You know, we've, got, now, we've got a whole day to go before we do that. So, um, so gents, first of all, uh, you've both put some really great mileage to come in. You know, Dave's come all David, sorry, has come all the way from Doncaster. Jimmy, you've been on a train for God knows how long this morning, haven't you? About two hours, yeah, yeah, yeah. from Hornchurch. Picked you up from Peterborough Station, the metropolis that is Peterborough. Um, uh, and here we are. Let's talk about some of the models we've got. Uh, we've got two prime marks on the board. Yeah. Yeah. See, uh, Primarchs always are a tricky one. You know, when Primarchs get into combo with each other, they just kind of just hit and they just, just play grind. around, don't they? Yeah, definitely. So, just grind there, I think. So, But I think because we wanted to base it on Isvan 5 and Vulcan was there and Mortarian as yeah. well. So I think we had to, they were auto included. Yeah, so definitely. Yeah. Got it, innit? Yeah. yeah. And we've got a really awesome mission. Uh, we're using uh, Hammer Blow Assault. From book two, yep. And David, you came up with this, didn't you? Yeah. So again, just uh, just to keep doing that. Sorry, that's all right. <laughs> um, just to keep it fluffy, really, because I think narrative for me is is what I really oh, yeah, enjoy about yeah. the uh, the hobby, as well as painting. I'll sure. say paintings first, but then narrative. So yeah, just base it on this fan five where the two legions clashed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so we've got the Death Guard in sort of a, a compound, and the, the Salamanders are smashing through the side wall, hopefully to catch the Death Guard unawares. So yeah, that's it. You've got hopefully. a bit of ground to cover, though, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, hence why I have vehicles everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Salamanders don't like walking. No, no, definitely not. <laughs> and, and a lot of people say, "Oh, it's a bit unfair." You know, we've got lots of vehicles versus lots of troops. But don't worry, the board is as it is. You know, you've got a little way to go. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. It'll take a, a yeah. while to move up to actually it, engage. And for me, it wouldn't have felt right to bring tanks. Yeah. To be honest with you, with this army, um, yeah. you know, I prefer infantry. I'm an infantry man at heart. So. Yeah, yeah. Why not? And the Heresy is all about infantry. We love massive yeah. you know, twenty-man tax squads and, and yeah. God knows what else. You know. Yeah. Uh, and David's defending a a massive compound with a big wall. Uh, and then Jimmy is kind of working his way through the rocks to get over the wall into the into the lines of the Death Guard. So, uh, yeah, you know, and you've got plenty of opportunity to shoot some stuff before. Yeah, got the Laz cannon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've got, got the Vive and walking. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes. Which is yeah, a no unusual. Top parts. No top yeah. parts here. It's a dirty deployment method, I think, for a Leviathan, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, it's not cool. Uh, so yes, we, we've got lots of vehicles, troops, two Primarchs. Uh, Jimmy, let's talk a little bit about, you got two Laz Vindies there. Yeah, I do like the laser Vindicators. Out of all the choices I was thinking of, choosing, I went through Sicarians and such, and um, Predators. And after talking to Tonka, I sort of went for the laser Vindicators, really. Yeah, they pack quite a punch. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I've, got, I've got one as well, um, which I haven't brought, but mm. it's always done good work for me. They're great, aren't they? Yeah. And you got you know uh, is it uh, you've got a Spartan and a Phobos? Um, yeah, I've got um, a Spartan and a Proteus. Proteus, sorry. Yeah, Proteus. Usually you can um, like give it the exo uh, conversion, it gives it the outflank and infiltrate. Yeah, but not today. That would be a bit. We odd. just we just wanted a head on. <laughs> we just yeah, 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 yeah. drive up and uh, got the two rhinos etc with the tacticals in. Yeah. Can't take twenty. Uh, have another land raider would be too much point. So hence why I went for the rhinos with the can't, multi melters. Can't be a rhino. Yeah, yeah, as well. yeah. You know, it's a staple. Yeah. Staple as well. So and we'll drill down deeper into into Jimmy's list very soon. But um, but Dave, you know, you're running the reap. David, sorry, you're running the reap in. I love all these heavy weapons. I love yeah, them. yeah. For me, again, it's just that is Death Guard. Um, you know, when you read about them, Mortarian was an infantry man. Yeah. Um, and obviously back in Isfan 3, they killed off a lot of their tanks, well, the, you know, um, the tank pilots and those sorts of things. Yeah. So yeah, just all, all infantry got, 
I would run bigger tax squads, really, but again, points restrictions. I'd, yeah. I'd run twenty man if I could. Cheats. Um, but yeah, then missile launchers got the heavy bolters and just the heavy flamers with the yeah. the chem upgrade as well because you've got to take. Yeah, that. why not? Yeah, you've got you to take, that. take it. <laughs> Makes them get hot though. Is that right? Yeah, so it gets hot and shred. Um, but you know. Bit of a double-edged sword, but it's worth having. Yeah, definitely, yeah. yeah Tinny cheeks. Yeah. Salamanders <laughs> are coming into your face. You want to get some heavy yeah. flames down. Well, this is it. It's fire versus chem today. So yeah, we'll yeah. see, see mm. which prevails. Green poison, eh? Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Um, we've got a really great board set up for you. Um, uh, built it last night. Sent a picture to these guys. Hopefully you like yeah, it. Yeah, it looks I amazing. I think it's quite representative of what we're trying to achieve. Um, attacker goes first. Is that right? That's true. Yeah, unless do you do you want to seize David? I don't I don't know actually to be honest with you. Um I'm I'm in two minds. I'll try and if I get it I can still choose if Jimmy yeah. goes first. Um I don't know, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. see. It all depends on the roll of the dice, I guess. Of course. It's, it's a dice game after yeah, all. Right? Yeah. So anything can happen. Yeah. All right, gents. Well, I'm really super looking forward to this. We're gonna drill down into your lists, we're gonna work out exactly what you've taken. And then the next time we'll see you will be um, first turn, hopefully, all right? Yeah. Cool. Uh, thanks for having us. Cheers. Thank you. 3,000 points of Salamanders, led by Vulcan, with the Covenant of Fire Right of War. HQ console chaplain, equipped with a plasma pistol and Crozis Arcanum and a refractor field. Elite slot, Fardrate Terminator squad, led by a Fardrate master. They all have Dragon Scale Storm Shields. Thunder Hammers and the Fire Drake Master has a master crafted Thunder Hammer. First troop slot is 8 Power Class led by a Power Class Warden that has a Power Fist and they are all equipped with Melter Bombs. Second and third troop slot are two 10 man tactical squads in Rhinos. The squads both have extra close combat weapons and the sergeants, one of them has a Power Fist and the opposite one has a Combi Melter. On the Rhino, it also has a Multi Melter Sponson. Dedicated transport for the fire drakes is a Spartan assault tank that has the armored semi right that everyone takes, flare shield. It also has aux drive and has the quad last cannons on the sides and a heavy bolter sponsor on top. Dedicated transport for the power class is a Land Raider Proteus that has armored semi right and a twin linked heavy bolter. First heavy support slot is a Vindicator Siege Tank Squadron. They have the laser destroyer arrays. Second heavy support choice is Leviathan Siege Dreadnought and he's equipped with a Siege Claw and Siege Drill and has the Armored Samurai upgrade and in the chest it has Heavy Flamers. Third heavy support slot is a Dorito Pattern Dreadnought with an Aelos Missile Launcher, Twin Linked Anvilus Pattern Auto Cannon Battery and Armored Samurai upgraded. In the chest it has Heavy Flamers. Lord of War slot, Primarch of the Salamanders, Vulcan will be leading the battle. 3,000 points of Death Guard, led by Mortarian the Reaper, the Pale King, using the Rite of War, the Reaping. First HQ slot is a Siegebreaker. He carries a Thunderhammer, Volkite Serpenta, he wears Artificer Armor, he has a single Phosphex Bomb, a Boarding Shield, and has Rad Grenades. First Elite's choice, Contemptor Dreadnought, he has the Kerry's Pattern Assault Cannon and Dreadnought Close Combat Fist. Second Elite's Choice, a Contemptor Mortis Dreadnought with two twin linked LAS cannons. Third Elite's Choice, Quad Launcher Rapier Carrier, which has been upgraded to Shatter Shells. First Troop's Choice is a 14-man tactical squad. Uh, the Sergeant has been upgraded to Artificer Armor and Rag Grenades. Second Troop's Choice, another 14-man tact squad uh, in Mark IV Armor. The Sergeant has been upgraded to Artificer Armor, carries a Death Shroud Power Scythe and has Rag Grenades. Third Troops Choice, and thanks to the Reaping I can take veterans as troops, is a seven man veteran squad. They have been given the Weapons Master's traits. There's three Combi Flamers in there and three Power Weapons, two Power Mauls and one Power Axe. They carry a Legion Vexilla, have Melter Bombs. And the sergeant has been upgraded to Artificer Armor, carries the Power Scythe, and has Rag Grenades. Fourth troop choice is a seven-man Heavy Bolter squad. The sergeant has been upgraded to Artificer Armor. Fifth troop's choice is a seven Heavy Support Marine squad. They carry missile launchers. Sixth and final troop's choice is a seven-man Heavy Support squad, carrying Heavy Flamers. They have been upgraded to 
chem munitions, and the sergeant wears artificer armor. First heavy support choice is eight grave wardens. They carry their grenade launchers, four have power fists, three have chain fists. The chem master also carries rag grenades. Second heavy support slot is a Leviathan Pattern Siege Dreadnought. He carries the Siege Claw, Cyclonic Melter Lance, has been upgraded to Armored Ceramite and a Phosphex Discharger. He has two torso mounted heavy flamers, which have been upgraded to Chem Munitions. Lord of War choice and leading the Death Guard is the Primarch Mortarian. He carries his Scythe Silence and his side pistol, the Lantern. He has unlimited Phosphex bombs. Flanking him are two of his elite Death Shroud. They carry the Death Shroud Power Scythe and have Hand Flamer with Chem Munitions. Gentlemen, we're deployed, we're ready to go. We've got two lovely armies here on this awesome looking board. I'm excited. Yeah, me too. I'm a little bit worried. I don't know if there's going to be much I can do, but I will see how it goes against Jimmy. He's a good guy. Yeah, so. definitely. I'm trying to think, try and eliminate as much as I can. Yeah. Turn one <laughs> before you shoot back with all that heavy support. Well, we'll see what happens. So, I'm going to roll to seize. See if yeah. I can seize. So, let's do that. No. 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 Right, let's have a friendly handshake. Jimmy, good luck, mate. Good luck to you, mate. Thanks a lot. Salamanders, turn one. Salamanders, turn one, movement phase. The Proteus moved up six inches so he can get in range of the last cannons onto David's uh, Contemptor up on the refinery. The Leviathan was moved up six inches as much as he can. I'll probably run him later. Also, I moved the Spartan up another six inches so I can get a little bit more closer with Vulcan and the Fire Drakes and Chaplin and to also get in range of my last cannons. I'm going to stay still with my Laser Vindicators to overcharge and the Dorito is going to stay still as well because he has some quite good line of sight on the missile launchers at the moment. But I'm going to keep my two Rhinos, my two Tacticals, there for now. So I'm a little bit apprehensive of all the firepower that can probably kill those at the moment. Salamander's turn one shooting. The Proteus is firing at the Contemptor in the refinery with the twin link LAS cannons, two of them, needing a freeze to hit, twin linked, thankfully, because there was a two there. And that's one hit. And now we're going to need five to glance, six to pen. And we've got a one. Next to shoot is the Dorito. We're going to be firing at the missile launcher team in the center of the table on the platform. Uh, first thing to fire is going to be the auto cannons, needing twos to hit. Twin links, but we didn't need that, that's all good. And it's strength eight against toughness four, we're going to need twos. All wounded. Right then. So that's uh, four? Is it four, five up cover saves? Oh, you get your armor save, mate. Oh, get the armor save. Yeah. Right. So, no, that's two dead. Next to fire is the ALOS missile launcher into the missile launchers, missile launchers in the middle. So we've got three missiles. They're going to be hitting on twos, all hit, and they're going to be wounded. A strength six is going to be wounded on twos, and we've got two, and it's AP three. So it's five up cover save, agreed? Right, two five up cover saves. No, another two dead. Cool, next unit of fire are the Laser Vindicator Squadron and they're going to overcharge fire into the unlucky missile launchers in the middle platform again. So, they are overcharging, so they get an extra shot, but we need to roll if, they're over, if they um, overheat at the end. It's going to be six shots, twin links, hitting on threes. 
So we've got uh, one to re-roll for Twin Links, and that's a miss still. So we'll take that away, and it's strength nine, so it's gonna be twos to wound, and all five are wounding. Yep, so I've got five um, saves to make. Um, I'll make two cover saves first, five ups. No, so they go through, and then I'm on to look out Sirs on the Siege Breaker. So he's good, he's good, and he's good. So that's the other three smoked. Slight correction, uh, the two Death Guard at the front with the missile launchers had died. However, I was able to manage to save the Siege Breaker and the, the Death Guard Legionnaire at the back um, through cover saves and look out Sirs. So, because the laser vindicator is overcharged on their shots, you need to roll a d6. On a roll of a one, they'll lose a whole point. So here we go. The first one at the front, here we go, and he's fine. And the one at the back, he's fine. Ah, oh, thank God. The Spartan fired its LAS cannons on the right and heavy bolts into the tacticals, and one died. The LAS cannon on the left fired into the missile launchers and killed the final last Marine. Finishing the squad off, making the siege breaker uh, leadership tech and he passed. Death Guard movement, turn one. Um, most things stayed where they were, apart from I move, uh, the Siege Breaker moved back into cover, just so um, he can try and join another unit. Uh, the Grave Wardens also moved back to hide and waiting to spring the ambush. Death Guard, turn one, shooting. The Contemptor Mortis has lined up a shot on the Salamander Proteus. He will be firing his LAS cannons. So that's two shots twin linked, hitting on twos. Both hit. So it's strength nine, armor front of 14. So it'll be five, and, five to glance, sixes to pen. Nothing. So that's the end of the Death Guard's turn. Not a lot I can actually do on the board at the moment. I'm just gonna hold fast. I was unlucky with the Contemptor, failing to pen on the, uh, the Proteus. So I'm just gonna sit back, hold fast, and wait for the Salamanders. Turn two Salamanders movement phase, starting from the Rhinos. The Rhinos just shuffled up, just behind the Dorito. And the Doritos move forward to get a better line of sight on the Death Guard. The Spartan has moved into the center and the laser vindicators are just having a little shuffle round to get a bit more in range of something a bit more juicy. And on the far left, the Leviathan has moved up and the Proteus has moved up, pivoted, and the eight Pyroclasts have got out to have a go at the heavy flamers of the Death Guard. Salamander's turn to shooting. Pyroclast is firing into the heavy flamers of the Death Guard. We've got 13 hits. Wounding on uh, freeze. We've shred. Shred because we've got World Burner on the Warlord trait. So, we've got freeze to wound with shred. So we've got one, two, three to be re rolled. Put those to the side. So, all but one. So that's 12 saves. So the Death Guard suffered 12 wounds. The first three got smoked. However, the Sergeant in the Artificer armor, he was able to save nine wounds on him. He loves it. So the Leviathan shot into the Heavy Flamer squad and killed one. And lastly, the Dorito fired the Alos missile launcher into the squad. And sadly, only one died, leaving the Sergeant to pass the leadership check. So the Dorito now is firing his auto cannons into the rapier. You can just see him through the two barrels. It's got four shots hitting on twos, twin linked. All hit, and let's get that reroll. Yep, strength eight, toughness seven, wounding on threes. Got three. Three, three up armor saves. Two a three. So that's too uh, destroyed. The Spartan fired into the heavy bolt squad and killed one Marine. 
the laser vindicators fired and <laughs> were firing at the heavy bolters and they rolled a one to wound, so nothing happened. The Proteus fired its las can on the right up into the contemptor, but nothing happened. End of turn two salamander shooting. It was uh, not too bad. I was hoping the power class would do a bit more work, but looking forward to the next turn to move up to try and get into a salt moor to get into the teeth of the death guard. Turn to death guard movement. I rolled for reserves, however, Mortarian isn't turning up. Um, other than that, it was just the siege breaker who moved back behind the crate, looking to join the grave wardens when he gets a chance. Um, that's it, no other movement. Um, I'm just gonna pile some shots out now. Death guard turned to shooting. The heavy flamers shot into the pyroclast, getting six hits. So I need threes with shred. So that's all hits. So if you'd like to take your saves, Jimmy. Okay, pyros are taking their saves now. I've got to do six saves. So here's five before we get to the warden. So two ups, and wow, there's three dead. And the last one is fine. So we've got three dead pyroclasts. The heavy bolters fired into the pyro uh, pyroclast squad. Um, 17 hits, and then with 12 wounds for Jimmy to save. So, here's 12 two ups, hopefully. Here we go. And we foul three. Attack squad, fury of the legion into the remaining pyroclasts. 28 shots, 18 hits, leaving 11 wounds. Needing saving, please. Okay, here we go. And they are really dead. Excellent, great news. Next to fire is the Contempt of Mortis, aiming at the Leviathan. Um, so two twin link glass cannons, hitting on twos, we're fine. And then it is strength nine, armor front 13, so five and sixes. And we've got a six, so we've got a pen. So okay. do you want to make a save? So Got a four up save on the shield, and it's a save. Well, hey. So no assaults for the death guard. Um, that brings the end to their turn. I was super relieved to get rid of that pyroclass squad. Um, I was a little bit frustrated that the, unfortunately the mortis couldn't penetrate the leviathan. Um, so we're just gonna hold tight. Salamander's turn three movement phase. The Protoss has pivoted around and just had a little shuffle so, you can, um, so the Leviathan can get past. The Leviathan has moved up six and is hoping to get closer to the heavy support guys. The Spartan has moved up a full 12 inches because I really want to get into combat. And the Laser Vindicate has had a little shuffle so they can get a bit more eyes onto the Dreadnought up in the refinery. And the rhinos have moved up as far as they can because we want to try and get up to that line to be able to score later on. And the uh, Dorito has shuffled around the corner to let the rhinos get past. Turn three, Salamander shooting phase. The Proteus has fired the right lads coming into the Leviathan. And fortunately, we rolled a pen and they lost the whole point. And the Heavy Flamer has been lost on the left. And the left last cannon fired into the contempt up in the refinery and uh, failed to pen. The Leviathan fired its uh, melter guns in its fists into the heavy, heavy flamers in front and fortunately melted them to pieces for vengeance for killing the pyroclass. The Spartan used machine spirit to fire the left quad last cannon, last cannons into the contempt on the refinery. Both hit, but sadly failed to pen again. It's a really hard contempt at that one. We just won't die. <laughs> Salamander Laser Vindicator Squadron are now going to fire at the Contempt of Dreadnought in the refinery because I really, really want to hurt it somewhere along the line. Every single time I shoot so far, I'm doing nothing. So here we go. Going to be hitting on freeze with twin links. Only one shot each because they moved. And they both hit. Now then, it's strength nine, ordnance. So I'm rolling two dice and choosing the highest. So here we go. And 
one glance and here comes the last one nothing so at least i've got a glance but it's going to get a, a juicy cover save now so three up cover save for the mortis ah oh, mate salamander dorito fired it, its alos missiles into the heavy bolters to try and get some vengeance for the power class dying and Sadio rolled a couple of ones and only one died. Now then, here we go. We've got the auto cannons. We're going to be firing those at the contemptor that's hiding behind this crate. So we've got four shots, hitting on twos, re-rolling. Here we go. And all hit. So now then, we have got strength eight with sunder. So we are going to be needing, I think it's uh, fives to glance, sixes to pen. So here we go. Uh, so we can re roll three of these. We've got one glance so far and nothing else. So we've got one glance. Four up cover save. No, that's uh, lost a whole point. Cool. So turn three recap. Um, not too bad. I was hoping to do a bit, an, another whole point at least on the Contemptor with a Dorito. Um, overall, I'm not too, I'm, I'm okay, but I was really, really wishing I could do some damage on that Contemptor on the right in the refinery. He's made of, like, rock steel. I just can't seem to hurt him. Death Guard Tier 3 movement. The attack squad jumped over the barrier and got down into cover. The heavy bolter squad stayed where they stayed where they are. The Leviathan has moved out from around the landing pad, looking to take a shot at the other Leviathan. They're going to have a face off, I feel. Rolled from a reserves, and Mortarian has showed up with his two death shroud, so he's moved on six. The vets again have come out from their cover. They're going to start moving up. The grave wardens have moved out from behind the landing pad too. Uh, the other big tax squad have again just moved forward and the Contemptor has moved round from the crate looking looking at the Rhino as I feel. And that's it, that's Death Guard turn three movement. Death Guard turn three shooting. The Contemptor has spotted the side of the Rhino and is going to take a shot with his Kerry's Assault pattern. So that's six shots hitting on twos. And they all hit, so I need fives to glance, sixes to pen. Six would be a ren, but let's see. And yet, yeah, we've got two pens there. So, so two d6 rolling for damage. Two shaken results. Death Guard Leviathan. It's going to take a shot at the Salamander's Leviathan using his Cyclonic Melter Lance. It is three shots hitting on twos. They all hit. And it will be forced to glance five or sixes of pens. Great. That's two pens. Okay, so here's two four ups. So one goes through. One goes through. Let's see what happens. And that's four. Plus two. Plus two. So great news. The Leviathan has immobilized the Salamander Leviathan. Contemptor Mortis is taking aim at the Vindicator Squadron. Two twin link las cannons. So, rolling two, uh, they've hit, and then fours to glance, fives to pen, and I've got a pen. So, rolling for damage, I've got a one, it's AP two, so plus one, and that's two. So, it scored a shaken result on the lead vindicator. So, after arriving from reserves, Mortarian in the shooting phase has used his special rule, the Shadow of the Reaper. He passed his leadership test and was able to re redeploy 10 inches. Salamander's turn four movement phase. So the Dorito has moved over six inches to get a better line of sight. The Rhinos have moved up to get a bit more of a better range of shooting for their multi-melters onto the Dreadnought later on. The Spartan has stayed still, but Vulcan and his fire drakes and the Chaplain have got out. We need to do some business. And the uh, laser vindicator doesn't stay still because I'm hoping to overcharge the rear one despite the front one snap firing. And sadly, the Viathan is standing still because <laughs> he can't move. And the Proteus is staying still also. 
Salamander's turn four shooting. The Alios missile launcher from the Dorito has fired into the heavy bolter squad and only killed one. The next thing we're going to do now is fire the auto cannons into the dreadnought on the right. So here we go, we've got four shots hitting on twos, re rolling with, oh, thank God for that, with twin links. Hey, four. So now then, we've got strength eight, fives will glance, six will pen with sunder. So here we go. We've got two pens and we're going to re-roll these two, hoping to get two more. We've got a glance. So, so far we've got two pens and a glance. So I'll take the invun against the glance. No, so that's gone through. And then the two, two pens, pens, they've also gone through. through. Here we go. So the combined firepower of the two rhinos shooting out tacticals with the metal guns and bolt guns, two died. The laser vindicators are fired into the Leviathan. The rear one is overcharged and the front one failed to hit because he was snap firing, but I managed to get through one penetrating hit. So, so I've just got a four up. Uh, save for the Leviathan, and no, of course, that's gone through. So let's see what it does, Jimmy. Right, here we go. Oh, that <laughs> blows up, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> blows up. Oh dear. So, <laughs> great shooting from the laser vindicators. Managed to blow up the Leviathan, and on the blow up, it managed to kill one tactical marine. The Proteus fired both last cans into the contemptor, but after both hitting, sadly, still not penetrating. Still not penetrating. <laughs> Spartan fired its quad las cannons at the contempt on the left, and they hit, but nothing went through. On the right, the quad las cannons fall into the Grave Wardens. Luckily, it killed one. The Leviathan fired both its melt guns into the tacticals, and one died. Vulcan fired his furnace heart at the tactical marines, wounding three. And here now is David's three cover saves. So three four ups, two a smoke. Salamander's turn four, assault turn. The Fire Drakes and Vulcan are charging into the tactical marines and we uh, suffered no damage from Overwatch. And now we're gonna need eight inches for charging. And we're in. Vulcan attacked the tactical squad using his earth shatter attack and managed to kill four marines. At the next initiative step, the chaplain moved up but has failed to get into combat. After that, at initiative, initiative four, four marines were able to make attacks on Vulcan. Um, three hit, but no wounds. In combat, the fire drakes mopped up the rest of the tactical marines and we've consolidated six chimpsies away from combat because we don't want to, you want to get away from the grave, grave wardens and make it harder work for them. Death Guard turn four movement. The Contemptor in the oil refine, refinery, he stayed still. Uh, the Death Shroud, they move forwards, they're six. The Veterans move forward six. Mortarian, he moved forward as well. The Grave Wardens have worked their way round the landing pad. Um, two Marines there, they move forward as well. And then the tax squad on the right flank just fell back out of the melter range of the Leviathan. And that's it for movement. The siege breaker has moved down from the landing pad also. <laughs> Death guard shooting turn four. The contempt of mortis fired into the, the vindicators. He was able to score one glance and one pen. So if we can get the salamanders just to make the glance save. Okay, here we go. So it's the glass, and now the pen. Double bubble, great. The Grave Wardens fired their poison grenade into Vulcan and the Fire Drakes. I managed to get a whopping 43 hits, 21 wounds. However, I was only able to take two wounds off of Vulcan and three wounds off of the Fire Drakes, killing one, leaving one Fire Drake on one wound. The Death Guard poured mass bolt of fire into the Fire Drakes. Um, however, causing no wounds through that. Um, Mortarian used his Shadow of the Reaper move and just got forward 10 inches. Turn 4, Death Guard Assault. 
The Grave Wardens charged in to Vulcan and the Fire Drakes, losing one to Overwatch. So Vulcan issued a challenge to my Chem Master, which I accepted. So Vulcan goes first, because he's the higher initiative. Yep, and he's going to be hitting with his four attacks. So he's hitting on threes. And he's got two. Now then, twos to wound. Yep, and two saves. Yep, so two four up involves. Nope, so one goes through, and what he is dead. Okay, at this initiative step, the chaplain has moved in. He's going to be attacking with his four attacks, hitting on threes. All but one, and because of these Crozius, he's going to be wounded on twos. Here we go. All three, so three saves there. Yep, so three two ups. He's three, fine. there we go. Initiative step one. The three Grave Wardens have piled into Vulcan. They have their Power Fists. So they're two basic, plus one for the charge. So I've got nine attacks going against Vulcan. Hitting on fours. So miss with two. And they will be wounding on threes. So that is five wounds. One wound got through on Vulcan, and he's now down to three wounds. Two Grave Wardens attacked with their Power Fist. Amazing work, and they managed to kill the chaplain and two fire drakes. So now it's the turn for the fire drakes to hit back. So, first things first, we've got six attacks hitting with the normal guys. They're hitting on threes, all hit, and strength eight, so it's twos to wound. And we have four saves. So, four, four up involves lost one. Now we have the master, he's uh, hitting on threes, but he's got a master crafted hammer, so, and no, we didn't roll one, so we've got one hit, and now two to wound, one save. One four up, no, lost both of those. So we forgot the master crafted roll, re-rolls one, so here we go, it still fails, excellent. End of turn four for the death guard. Really happy with the work that the Grave Wardens did, taking Vulcan down to three wounds. However, I feel like I'm in a little bit of a pickle. Um, I've got a few units which are out, but they are scoring actually, so they're scoring me points. So actually, I shouldn't probably worry too much at the moment. A um, um, little bit apprehensive of the other attack marines coming out from the Salamanders Rhinos, but other than that, I don't know, we've still got a turn to go, so we'll see how that is. Salamander's turn five movement phase. The Rhinos moved up, pivoted, and all the guys got out. Um, the Laser Vindicator is staying still to overcharge. The Dorito is staying still, and the Spartan has moved up, pivoted, to be in the scoring area and to have weapons on Mortarion. Also, the Protus has moved up, pivoted, to be in the scoring area and to get Laz Cannons to bear. Salamander's turn five, shooting face. Both Rhinos are going to fire their mastercrafted multi melters into Mortarion. So, hitting on threes. Yep, and one of them is mastercrafted. Yep, both hit. Now, we're going to need uh, threes to wound. Here we go. And double one. How lovely is that? The tactical squad fired all of its bolt guns and the master crafted melter gun, and we only had one one wound to be taken on Mortarian. Yep, so Mortarian's got a two plus save, and he's fine, luckily. The Spartan shot everything at Mortarian, and he's got to make three saves. So three, four up in buns, and he's failed one. So Mortarian takes a wound. The Proteus shot everything at the Heavy Bolter, Heavy Support Unit, and one wound, but was saved. The Dorito fired its ALOS missiles at the Heavy Bolters and killed one Marine. Now, we've got the Auto Cannons, they're going to be firing at Mortarian. So we've got four shots, hitting on twos, Twin Linked. Here's the Twin Linked. Yep, now, wounding on threes because it's strength eight. And we have two saves. So two two ups for Mortarian. And he takes another wound. The laser vindicators 
overcharge and shot at the uh, contempt of dreadnought up in the refinery and uh, caused two glances. So I've got two three up cover saves and he's fine. Lovely. He loves it. The tactical squad here has fired into Mortarion and after all the hits and wounds we have three saves to be made. Yep, so three two ups and he's lost another wound. Excellent, I'm happy with that. Salamander's turn five assault phase. Falcon's going to be attacking the Grave Wardens. He's got four attacks. Kingdom Freeze. And we miss one. And now then, two's to wound. And two saves. So, onto the invulnerable save, which is four up. Lost a Grave Warden. Now, the Fire Drake's going to be hitting back. We've got one normal Fire Drake and a Fire Drake Master. So, first things first, the normal guy has got two attacks. And he's going to be hitting on threes. We've got one. And it wounds on a two. And that's a wound. So, four up in bump. He's fine. That's it. Now, we've got the Fire Drake Master. He has three attacks with his Master Crafted Hammer. So, we're hitting on threes, re-rolling one miss. Which is rather nice. Come on. Oh dear, that's sad. So now we've got two here. We need two ups to wound. And that's two saves. So two saves for the Grave Wardens. One's smoked. Or so one's been pummeled, sorry. The Grave Wardens attacking back with their power fists. Two attacks each. We've got two misses there. And then it's twos to kill. And that's two dead. Three up and vulnerable now on the Fire Drakes. So first one fouled, and the second one has fouled. So they're both dead, unfortunately. So to round up, both the fire drakes died, but Vulcan's fearless, and he's still there fighting the fight. So here we go, it will not die now, end of the turn. It's a five up, and he gets it back. So he's on four wounds now, ready to smash the face of that Grave Warden next time. Turn five movement for the Death Guard. Um, starting on the left flank, Mortarion moved up into, into the face of the tactical squad. He's going to throw off some phosphate bombs and hopefully get a charge in there. Um, the two rapier carriage marines, they're still knocking around. So they've moved up as well just to um, aid with a bit of fire support. The veterans who have been hanging out at the back, I actually forgot about them for a couple of turns, should have moved them up, but they've moved up now. Hopefully going to get a few shots at the um, the other tactical squad, the Siege Breaker just behind him. The Grave Wardens, they're just going to hang out at the back. They're actually a scoring unit for me, so that's one point there. The Contempt of Mortis has stayed in his place. He's going to line up a few shots onto the side of the Proteus. Um, the Heavy Bolter Marines, two had to move to get line of sight on the the Salamander attack squad, so they'll be snapped sh shooting, and the other tactical squad has just stayed where they were. Death Guard, turn five shooting phase. Going to start with the Contempt of Mortis. He's going to shoot his Twin Link Laz Cannons into the side of the Proteus. So, two shots. Twos to hit, both hit, and then it will be fives to glance, sixes to pen. And he's a pen. There's a glance. Heavy Bolter Marines fired into the Salamander Attack Squad. Um, has managed to get three wounds, unfortunately. Well, fortunately for Jimmy, he was able to save them. <laughs> the Mark IV Attack Squad shot into the Salamander Tactical Squad. Lucky shot, managed to take one down. The vets fired off their bolt pistols into the attack squad, uh, downing one legionnaire. Mortarion threw a phosphex bomb into the legionnaires, into the attack squad, killing four marines. So the two legion rapier crew members fired their bolt pistols into the salamander attack squad, causing no wounds. Turn five, assault. Mortarion has charged into the left hand attack squad. The vets have got to make an 11 inch long bomb charge into the other tactical squad. So I'm going to see if they can get in. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, they go seven, but nowhere near. Mortarian assaulting the tac marines. 
He has seven attacks, hitting on threes. So he misses with one of those. And wounding on twos. These are AP2. And they've all gone through. So that is two, four, six dead Marines. Crucially, wiping the whole squad. After cutting down the tactical squad, Mortari and Consolidated five inches. He also gained a wound back through his will not die roll. Vulcan smashed apart the last Grave Warden and he consolidated five inches towards the veteran veterans. So that's it. That's the end of turn five for the Death Guard. This is a game with variable game length though, turn length. Um, I would like it to go to a sixth turn. So I've got a dice and I'm going to try and roll a four up for it to go to turn six. No. And that's the end of the game. Jimmy. Good game, mate. Good game. Thank you very much. That was a pleasure. Thank you. So we'll go back and we'll toss up the victory points. We're finished. <laughs> Jimmy, David, that was one hell of a game. Yeah. There was a lot of a lot of manoeuvring through those rocks from Jimmy there. Yeah, it's the most terrain I've ever played with. Well, that's it. We, we, were, we were talking about this. Games yeah. need terrain. You can't just have three pieces and it's just a shooting gallery all day long. It's boring. So you had to do some skillful driving, didn't you? Yeah, I had to actually move the Vindicators and the Dreadnoughts and everything. Yeah, you did a good job around there. It, it makes you think, I think, and like, you know, that's what it is. It's about improving your tactics as yeah. well. So, yeah. yeah, no, really thoroughly enjoyed it. Thank you very much, Dave. My pleasure. You know, battlefields are different all over the world. So, uh, so there we are. Uh, now, final scores on the door. I think we know who's won, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, Jimmy, <laughs> I, I say this to everyone: uh, you're a butcher. Ah, you uh, you did butcher the um, the Death Guard quite severely. I think it was due to um, y your firepower was quite unparalleled, really, wasn't it? And you yeah. did sneak out David's uh, missile launches early on in the game, and yeah, that, yeah. When, when we come up with the game, I was like, as soon as I heard about those with the tank hunt, I was like. I don't really like the idea that really. <laughs> it sounds like he's going to kill my rhinos and make me have to run up my non-running <laughs> salamanders. Yeah, I think I think for me, I maybe tried to rely on them a little bit too heavy in okay. my game plan, in my head. And I just thought, you know, I thought they would do the business for me. But obviously they yeah, didn't this they time. Got sniped out, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, they did, yeah. So. so final scores were seven to the salamanders and four to the Death Guard. Uh, so yeah. remembering that, you know, the the Salamanders had to get into the Death Guard deployment zone with two points each, one point for the Death Guard, and then, uh, yeah, it tightened up at the end and it was quite a quite a reasonable margin, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, let's have a chat about the units you brought back. So, Jimmy, uh, I think the Las Vindies are well-deserved, aren't they? Yes, I am. They always, in all my games, perform very well. I yeah. had to actually use them a bit more in a role of not just sitting there and overcharging every turn. I yeah. had to move them, move and move around and that. But my plan was from the start to fire those at the missile launchers. Okay. I just I just had to get rid of those before I revealed my rhinos. Mm. Yeah. Because I was like, oh, they're, they're going to get, he's going to shoot those. With yeah. those guaranteed. <laughs> yeah, that, that was the plan, as I say. And then um, once they went, I was, I was kind of, I was lacking, I feel, in in armour penetration, yeah. to be honest with you. Yeah. Um, that's, you know, if I could go back and review my list, maybe I'd take some more Laz Cannons, but, okay. you know, apart from that, I, I was... I think I think you did well weathering the storm, though. Yeah. You, you had a lot of shots coming at you, and you had some really good cover saves, and you had some good <laughs> cover in there. And yeah, definitely yeah, cover yeah, saves, yeah. yeah. You know, and that, um, that contempt to with the, the Mortis with the double Laz. <laughs> just hanging out in the back. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you must have just craned him in <laughs> at the beginning of the game, right? You just sit there for the game. Sit there. <laughs> he, he, he was quite frustrating, though, that he wasn't able to actually pen or, yeah. get you know, destroy anything. Even though he sat there for the whole game, yeah. I would have liked him to actually uh, maybe got some more work done. The, the, the problem with, with units like that, you have games where, you know, you roll a two to hit, you pen, and then you roll a six plus your AP one and it blows the vehicle up, bomb, yeah. just like that. And you do That's a couple it. every two or three turns and it's just like, yeah, but it just didn't happen the, for The you. rolls weren't with me today as well, I don't feel, because yeah, yeah. I really would have liked that sixth turn at the end. Yeah, yeah, it could, it could have helped you out, I think. Yeah. But. That's the way it goes. You know, I had a game yesterday uh, and my Phalax, he's got a two up, three up invulnerable. 
my opponent shot me, I think it was, uh, with bolters, I think it was, or I can't remember. Um, he got three hits, and I needed two butts to save, and I rolled three ones. You yeah. know, it's just, well, just, you can't do anything about that. The way, the way it goes, isn't it? And we'll the way it goes. It's not cool. Yeah. But you've brought your Grave Wardens back. Yeah, I think that they are actually my favourite unit um, for the Death Guard. Yeah. Um, you know, just with their poison grenade launches, mm. they're savage. And also with the power fists and being able to tie up Vulcan and kill mm. the fire drakes as well. Mm. So yeah, I was I was quite happy with their performance. You, you could have done with two or three turns of shooting with that unit. Yeah, and it just with the sheer weight of numbers, you know, oh. and that. It, yeah, oh. yeah. The big tax squads they definitely do well against. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you know, I was I was quite happy. Um, I think that's the most Mortarians ever done for me as well by wiping out that tax squad. Yeah, that was really good. Um, and it, yeah, a little, a little bit annoyed that I couldn't get my veterans up, and I sort of forgot to move them the first yeah. couple of turns. Oh, that, that really oh, that's annoying. That's going to grind on me for a few days. <laughs> um, and the same with the Secret Breaker as well, like newly painted. Yeah, and he didn't do anything. So that's the first, the first thing I heard yeah. of. I've spent that ages beforehand painting it you go oh yeah it's going to be awesome in the game <laughs> yeah he does nothing or just dies that's it so really. yeah cool well I, I really enjoyed it you know I've been here the whole day and I've, I've been filming I've watched the whole mm. thing it had um, peaks and troughs and <laughs> it did move around quite a bit and it was it was very exciting so I sincerely hope that you guys at home enjoyed it and, and also too I know I know it's a long day we've been here since what 8 o'clock 9 o'clock this morning yeah, yeah. it's getting on for 6, 7 o'clock now and it's a, it's a long old day but but gents you've put some great time effort and mileage so thank you so much no thank you oh, David thank you very much David you enjoyed yeah. it it's been a pleasure yeah. yeah amazing board you know amazing company thanks for all your help with the rules as well uh, <laughs> oh god we do yeah. apologise biggest cost that. we got alright <laughs> I thought you did really well for two painters who've only played a handful of games yeah yeah, yeah. And, I, and I think that's that's the key thing as well is you know you do you do probably spend more time painting than gaming and you and you do have two particularly lovely armies so <laughs> we just went through a few bits and bobs didn't we yeah, so yeah so it's all good plan for the year is to learn the game get some more oh, get yeah. some more games yeah, yeah, yeah. You, use it. the army i'm yeah i'm planning definitely a few events yeah. and stuff definitely yeah. this year i've got Same. two events i'm planning to go to good all right, cool. It's yeah. always valuable. Well, we would love to have you back, and I'm sure the viewers at home would love to see you again. Yeah. Um, but if they would like to contact you, uh, I talked to you about your painting, your game. Uh, Jimmy, where can they contact you? I've got an Instagram. It's jimmyp2508, and Jimmy's Miniature Painting on Facebook page as well. Of course. And uh, You've got a club as well, is yeah. that right? Yeah. My friend Dan has put a lot of effort <laughs> into creating a really good club in Brentwood called Crusaders. If you look it up on Facebook, you'll yep. find it. He has amazing tables, terrain. Just if look it up and if you're local, come down and have a game. Yeah, yeah. give Jimmy a game. Games there. Yeah, come down yeah. and have a game of 30k. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, definitely. Good That's stuff. It. And David, where can we find you? Yeah, so I've got an Instagram and that is Bane underscore of underscore chaos. Fantastic. So, yeah. The channel gets loads of inquiries and they, they miss the channel and say, oh, how did that guy paint this? How did that guy do that? Or what was that tactic? What was this role? And I just don't have the time to reply to everybody. So if you deal direct via these guys on Instagram or via Facebook, at least you can ask them direct and they'll get back to you a bit quicker than I can because I am um, I've got a lot of work on at the moment. It's <laughs> it's all uh, it's all caved in around me. Um uh, I hope you enjoyed the game. Go to the Facebook page. We took loads of photos of this. So when this game comes out, the photos get uploaded to Facebook. Like, comment, subscribe to the website. That is up and running. And mm. I really hope that uh, those guys that are subscribing are enjoying it. I'm trying to get more games up for you so you get more value for money. So uh, we're filming three games this weekend. So there's a lot going on. Um, that's all we've got to say. Gents, thanks again. Thank and, you very much. Yeah, Dave. thank you for having me, Dave. And we will see you in the next game. Sure. Thank you. Mm. Rrrr. <sighs>